worship him we bless you father let's worship him we worship we worship you lord we praise you lord hallelujah someone lift up your voice and just bless the name of jesus begin to receive the ministry of the word in your spirit right away in the name of the lord begin to desire elian that the word will come to transform your life Begin to prepare yourself and begin to declare within yourself and say, Oh, let this word today come as a word that will be able to rebuke, to correct, and even to align me to the purposes of God. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. We give you all the glory. We worship you. give you a game. Sing unto the Lord. Hands and say, we, we give you love. Oh, my Lord. We worship Lord. Father, we give you glory. Somebody say, We give you. your voice and just bless the name of the Lord oh my God we have a reason to praise you Lord we have a reason to give you all the glory we have a reason to give you all the praise in the name of Jesus hallelujah you are worthy we give you glory Someone lift up your voice and just give him praise. Open up your mouth and give him glory. He's worthy to be glorified. We worship you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we worship and somebody give God a loud amen. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Please, you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Someone somewhere has said, sit on your enemies forever in Jesus' name. We give God all the praise and all the glory for the opportunity that he has granted us to share his word. I want to believe that it is not in the doing of a man. It is in the planning of heaven that we are here today. Amen. The Lord was reminding me this morning 
Um, when I was coming from work, and one of the things the Lord was reminding me is uh, he has our plan at hand. He says, I know what I am planning. When you read the Bible in the book of uh, Jeremiah, he says, I, I have, I know, especially message Bible says, for I know what I am planning. Glory to God. In fact, it says, for I know what I am doing. That's what message Bible says, Jeremiah eleven twenty nine. 29. Is it 29, 11? Yes. He says, for I know the plans I have for you. And when I was meditating over the same, he says, you know, on this earth, you are sojourners. You are visitors. Praise the Lord. And he went ahead to tell me, listen, there's no visitor that goes to a particular place and lack a tour guide or somebody to help them get where they are going. Then he told me, you know what, Exodus 23 from verse 20, and he said, you know what, I have sent my angel to guide you and to bring you to a place that I have prepared for you. And I was telling him, God, what do you mean in all this? He said, listen, you do not have to worry. I have your itinerary at hand. Hallelujah. Praise God. I have a plan of what I intend to do with your life. And I discovered for sure he deserves all the glory. Amen. I want to take this opportunity to thank God because of this chance and to thank the father of the house in absentia. Of course, mama is present, Pastor Mary. And uh, I want to bless the Lord because of Apostle Isaac, even for the opportunity to allow me to come and stand before you and share the word of God. Hallelujah. I also want to thank God for the elders, uh, of course, the men in the house. This is the men's day. Can somebody celebrate a man wherever you are in Jesus' name? <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, please, if you're sitting next to a man, just clap in their face like, you know, pa, 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 and appreciate them for being men. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. We thank God, and uh, I also want to thank God for that leadership, even for giving me a chance and opportunity to come and share the word of God with us today in Jesus' name. Allow me to go straight to God's word, and today we're going to share a very, very powerful message about a heart of gratitude. Someone say, a heart of gratitude. I can't hear you. Say it louder. Okay, say it like you mean it. Gratitude can also be said in other words, thanksgiving. A grateful heart is a thankful heart. And a heart of gratitude is a heart that is full of thanksgiving. This is one of the subjects that we pass by every time we do a study. Because we assume that we're already giving thanks to God, even the way we are. But listen to me. Thanksgiving or gratitude is a heart issue. It, 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 it is not just something that comes from the outside when we do the expression thereof. But it is something that begins from inside of you. Hallelujah. But listen to me. It has to originate from somewhere. You cannot just rise from anywhere and begin to give gratitude or begin to give thanks. It must have emanated or originated from somewhere. Somebody was describing on how the flight or the plane, the aircraft takes off. And he said the higher or the speed at which the air aircraft is moving to take off determines how high it will be able to take off. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. There's no aircraft that can just come from nowhere, especially the helicopters that begin from nowhere and begin to go out. They don't go very far. Their height is just somewhere close here. But the Boeings, like the one you're going to take and fly soon to Africa and other nations, I wish there was an amen from somebody. <laughs> These are prophetic preaching in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Like the Boeings, you will look at how it takes off a 
And you are like, wow, this is a speed that nobody can imagine. But when he's taking over 900 kilometers per hour and the rest, then you are like, what's going to happen? However big it is, it will still take off and go high. Because it has originated from a speed that gives it the ability to soar in the sky. Hallelujah. Thanksgiving does not just come from nowhere. It must have originated from somewhere. For you to have a heart of thanksgiving, it must have been built on something. That's why there are people, when you wrong them, they say, thank you, thank you for what you did for me. It's never a thank you. Praise the Lord. Is it an asante? Is it a real thank you? It's not. So the thanksgiving we are talking about, we are talking about the thanksgiving that originates from a place of gratitude, from a place where you are looking back and counting the blessings of God and counting them one by one and appreciating the involvement of the hand of God for the far that you have come. Anytime we have a heart of thanksgiving and a heart of gratitude is a heart that has reflected back and looked into the entire life and discovered that whatever I have and where I am, it is not by my own strength. There is a mighty supernatural hand that has been involved for me to be here. One of the worst things the enemy does is to deny us a heart of thanksgiving. And all we do is to look at what God has not done and forget what God has already done. All we do is to begin to project on the projects that the Lord will want to do for you tomorrow and forget on the reflections of the things that God has already done. You know, there was a time I used to cry to God and say, God, when am I going to have my papers? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. And you know, I could pray over it and pray and pray. And you know, I could pray over it and pray and pray. And you know, until it turns into some, you know, and people think you're speaking in tongues, but in Makara, you know, Makara, Makara, Makara. There are no tongues there. Let's go to the Bible, <laughs> the book of Psalm 100. We're going to read a few scriptures. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord grant you those papers in Jesus' name. I say may the Lord grant you those documents in the name of the Lord. We command their release in the name of Jesus. As we give thanks to the Lord, we provoke heaven to perform into your favor. I say as we decree and declare thanksgiving and rise with hearts of gratitude, we also engineer the performance of God's word, even concerning your documents. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you shall not leave us a fugitive. You shall not leave us a fugitive. I decree and declare, let them be released in the name of the Lord. Mm. Glory to God. I say glory to God. Now, um, are you there in your Bible? I thought it's uh, going to be projected. Okay, it's here. Let's read it together. Make a joyful shout to the Lord, all you land. Read on. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with the singing. Mm -hmm. Now that the Lord, he is God, it is he. Who has made us and not ourselves? We are his people and the sheep of his pastures. Go on verse 4. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. If you can take me back to verses 1. And we flow together to verse 4. The Bible says, make a joyful shout to the Lord, all you land. And when talking about land, it's basically talking about you. Because you came from the soil. 
And as I said last time here, there's the soil that is down and there's the walking soil. So both of them are soil anyway. He says, make a joyful shout. A heart of gratitude is a heart that appreciates that this far I have come. It is the doing of the Lord. It's a place of acknowledging that if it were not for God, I would not be where I am. So when I was crying over this thing and say, oh God, give me, give me, give me. Then the Lord asked me, how many people were at the embassy that day you went for the interview? Okay, he said, okay, before then. Because I came through uh, a theological seminary school. And then he said, now, tell me when people were being vetted to choose people to join Dallas Theological Seminary. Tell me if your name appearing was your own strength. I said, no. We had so many people. By the way, I came as a representative of another country, not my own country. They left the people of that country and picked me, one who is a foreigner in that country, and I was vetted to be part of that particular program. I pray that this favor will touch your life in Jesus' name. And he said, listen, how about when you traveled, when you went to the embassy, how many people were there waiting for the same document? I saw people crying. I saw one man who was a Somali carrying a big file. It's not in the file, man. It is in the hand of God. The guy was carrying a big file to tell the embassy of what he's coming to do in the U.S. I have this project. I have this. I have this. And then one statement was that you can't travel. Amen. But for me, the boy from Zekhendu, you can't even pronounce the name. Arrived there. <laughs> Hallelujah. In the power of God. In the name of God. And he told me, listen, before you begin to cry for what you want me to do, begin to appreciate what I have already done. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. A heart of gratitude. Let's read on. Let's read on. The Bible says, serve the Lord with gladness. Oh, praise the Lord. Help me preach to your neighbor to them, serve the Lord with gladness. Uh, speak to someone else, giving them a joyful face and tell them, serve the Lord with gladness. Hallelujah. Because many are the times when we give service to God with murmuring and complaining. By the reason that you came ahead and cleaned the church, if you really want to receive a blessing out of it, clean it with gladness. Ah, praise the Lord. Don't clean saying, where are these people? <laughs> where are they? Hmm? When I'm here, 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 I'm here. You cannot receive the blessing. He says, serve the Lord with what? With that gladness. Let's read on. Come before his presence with singing. I pray that let there be a song in somebody's mouth. That every moment you enter the sanctuary, you will have a song in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to know that the Lord has always released a song in every season of your life. The only problem is that we are never sensitive when God gives us a song to sing in a season. Because what tries to overcome prayer cannot overcome praise. What fights giving or anything else cannot be able to fight Judah when he rises with praise. And that's why the man of God was telling us about the issue of Judah, that Judah has been fought. But we pray in the name of Jesus, you will come with the singing. May the Lord reward you with a song in every season of your life. When it is moment of celebration, you shall have a song. When it is the moment of sowing, you shall have a song. When it is time to intercede and to pray, there shall be a song out of the bellies of your mouth, out of the bellies of your heart, out of the streams of your life. You will rise up with a song in every season. That's why Miriam, when they cross over, comes up with a song. He says, listen, God has given us victory in this. We couldn't have crossed this if it were not the Lord. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. One of the worst things the enemy does is to deny you the opportunity to open up your mouth and sing a song in the seasons that God has given you. Remember, we serve a God of times and seasons. He says, come. 
with singing. Let's go on. Uh huh. No. Someone say no. Know that the Lord, He is who? Not uncle. Not cousin. Not father. Not mother. Not sister. He is God. Let's read together. It is He. Please help me preach to your neighbor. Tell him it is the Lord that made me. Oh my. Help me preach to somebody next to you and tell them it is the Lord that has made us. Hallelujah. He says it is he who, who made us. That means if it is the Lord who made you and me, then he has the manual that operates my life. It is only the manufacturer that understands how the machine works. And any default in the performance of a particular machine, you can only get it back to the manufacturer. That's why every time you buy anything from Amazon, they tell you if it has a problem, bring it back. And when you take it back, they will still take it back to the one who manufactured it. Because the one who manufactured it is the one who understands how that machine is supposed to perform. And every time it has a default, for those of you who probably were in a class of IT, you will discover that every time a system has a problem, then there is something that needs to be corrected within the software of the system for the performance of that particular system. Glory to Jesus. I say glory to God. So when the Lord says it is he who made us, he's basically saying you do not have to seek a solution elsewhere. All you need when you are in any season of trial, you need to go back to him because it is him that made you. Oh, somebody say amen. I pray that the Lord will bring you to a place where you will acknowledge that it is he who made you and every moment you will arise with a song of joy and gladness going back to him in every season and giving him gratitude and thanks. Knowing that it is he who made us and not, and not what? Can we preach together? And not, not ourselves. And every time pride comes upon a man, you will always do what you call thumbing, is it? Chest what? Uh-huh. Saying it is me. If it were not for me. Yes. And, and Mimi is me. You know? Not so, right? Yes, it's me. Mimi. Yani ni Mimi. If it were not for me, then it couldn't be anybody else but me. For I am the one that did this and that. He says, listen, you need to know it is God who made us and not ourselves. I pray that anything that has not been made within you, the owner, the one who made you is able to finish it up in the name of the Lord. Ah, anything that looks to be incomplete in your life, for the one who made you is still able to correct it and align it and make you into the person he wants you to be. I wish there was a louder amen from somebody. Oh, somebody give God a louder amen. amen. Not ourselves. We are his. Hey, let's read together. We are his what? His people. And the sheep of his pasture. We are his people. And the sheep of his pasture. In other words, we are not without pasture. We are not without a guardian. We are not without a shepherd. He says, we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Let's go on. Let's go on. Let's go on. Then he says what? Enter his gates. I pray in the name of Jesus that this season of a heart of gratitude and things, this season of thanksgiving, it will not just be a season that we are celebrating even in America as a land, but it will be a season where your heart will arise to give thanks, to provoke every gate to be opened in the name of the Lord. There are gates in our lives. There are gates, there are gates that stand to even bring obstruction. But the Bible says with thanksgiving, 
Thanksgiving shall give a password to the access of the gates and the courts of God so that you can be able to arise with praise. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, including the ancient gates, they shall be lifted by the power of thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. That as you rise in your spirit to give thanks, every gate shall open. I say every gate shall open. I say every gate shall open. I say every gate shall open. Gates to bring promotion shall open. Gates to bring favor shall open. Gates to bring healing shall open. With thanksgiving I decree and declare. There shall be opening of every gate. In the name of Jesus. Let your gates be opened. Including the ancient gates be opened. We decree that the Lord shall enter. The God of glory shall enter in the name of Jesus. I say we decree and prophesy that gates shall be opened. Including the gates of your enemies shall be opened. We command that your children shall possess the gates of their enemies. By the power that comes from thanksgiving in the name of Jesus Christ. Give God a louder amen. I say give God a louder amen. Let's move on to the book of Psalm 103. Just Two chapters after that. A heart of gratitude. A heart of gratitude is a heart that acknowledges that it is the doing of the Lord. It is a heart where you come to a place where you say, it is not by the money that I have. It is not by the businesses that I run. Praise the Lord. It is not by the alarm that woke me up in the morning. Because if you take the same alarm and put it next to a dead body, it will not rise. Oh, praise God. Because many times we rise up and say, no, 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 my alarm, you know, my alarm is powerful. Okay, alarm. My alarm is powerful. You know, you want me to pronounce it the way you want it. Okay, fine. My alarm is one of the most powerful alarms in the world. But if you take the same alarm, put it to a next, to a dead man or to a dead body, it won't raise up the body. It is God. Someone say it is God. Look at your name and tell them it is God. I speak to somebody next to you and tell them, guy, praise the Lord. It is God. I'm trying to give you a language you understand. What does it say? Can we read together? Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Thanksgiving is a heart issue. Thanksgiving must originate from within you. If my soul is able to give thanks, my body will arise and follow what the soul says. Because everything begins in the spirit. There are people who come to give you thanks, not because they're giving you thanks, but because they want to show you that, you know, the way you abandoned them, the Lord picked them up. <laughs> Believers are very interesting people. Praise the Lord. <laughs> they will come because when they needed you to help them pay a ticket, you said you don't have money and they knew you have money. They wait. After they succeed, they show up. They arrive in your home. They say, I have come to say thank you. It's not a thank you. It is saying, you know what? Where you left me, God picked me up. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. You don't have to do that. Because it doesn't have recompense. It doesn't have reward. Amen. It doesn't have reward. Because many times, you know, you want to use the scripture and say, you know, I, I want to put call on his head. I will go with a, <laughs> with, a, with a what? A sacrifice. I will take to him. Watch our own material. You are wasting that money. I would rather, you would rather bring that money to the work of God. Thanksgiving is a heart issue. It says, bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Let's go on. And all that is within me, all that is within me, bless his holy name. 
Every time your soul arises with gratitude, everything else around your life begins to respond in that direction. Even you are dancing, even you are jumping, even you are giving, everything else you do is a reflection of what the soul has perceived. That's why when the Shunammite woman said in her heart that this is a man of God, everything else she did was as far as the perception that was inside her spirit. Oh my soul, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. That's where I want to look at. Thanksgiving originates from a platform of reflecting on the doings of God in your life. Every time you arise with a heart of gratitude, you have come to a place to acknowledge that this that I have, this that I am, and where I am today, it is only God that has done it. Glory to God. I said glory to God. Thanksgiving is a game changer. Every time you arise with thanksgiving, you confuse the enemy. When the enemy expects you to murmur of what that has delayed and what has not been done, then you arise and say, Lord, you know what? I am not going to focus on the things I want you to do for me. I am, I'm not going to look at what I want you to make me tomorrow because I don't even know whether I will be there tomorrow. What I look at is what you have already done. And I arise with a heart of gratitude to say thank you for what you have already done. Thanksgiving is a game changer. Some of you, the prayers you are praying right now in your closet, some of the prayers you make are prayers of murmuring and crying and, and you know, mourning and saying, God, you, where, where did you go? You have abandoned me. And there are also those prayers of jealousy where you pray and you say, God, why you have remembered so and so? And, and you know, I was here ahead of them. I came in the U.S. before them. And, and God, you, you mean God? You, you mean you can give them a house and not me? Those are prayers of murmuring and complaining. No, no, no. This is the truth, friends. Most of you, when you're in your closets, the kind of tears you shed are tears of murmuring. Ah, praise the Lord. Ah, let's talk. Praise the Lord. Some of us are very good when we come in the praise of the Lord and we are jumping and everybody's celebrating and we are so nice and enjoying it. Oh, huh. But when you are alone, the tears you shed are tears of murmuring. Why did you give them? God bless you, sir. Why did you do to them and not me? That's why the book of Malachi, the last chapter, I think chapter three, chapter three, yes, towards verses 18 down, it talks about God listening to the believers, talking to each other. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And they were complaining. And they were saying, we have been serving God. We have been walking around as people who are mourning. We have been doing this and that. And somehow it's like God has not even remembered us. This is a chart of believers. It's not a chart of non-believers. You know, non-believers, what they know is that it's their own strength. So they don't have a power to believe in. All they do is to believe in themselves and pursue. Believers, instead of using the power that God has put within us, we still go back to him and say, God, even the power you have put within us, it is you to come within us and work in the power that you have put within us. Then when it doesn't work, it is murmuring and complaining. Look at your neighbor, tell the neighbor, a heart of gratitude will change your altitude. I, I wish you can preach that to them. Tell them, a heart of gratitude will change your altitude. Hallelujah. When you rise up with a heart of gratitude, your gratitude will determine the altitude, the higher you can be able to go. Glory to God. I say glory to Jesus. Let's go on. Bless, bless the Lord of my soul and forget not all his benefits. Reflecting on the things that the Lord has done. Let's look at these benefits very quickly. Number one, let's go on. Number three, who forgives all your iniquities? The God that can only be able to wash as white as snow by the power of his blood is Jesus. Remembering that the one who forgives. There are people who forgive you and they tell you, you know, I've forgiven you, but I will never forget. Have you ever heard of that before? 
Yeah, I, no problem. I have forgiven you. But that thing you did, I don't think I'll remember. I, I'll forget. I think I'll also tell my generation of what you did. Though I've forgiven you. Number two. Can we read together? Who heals all your diseases? And you know, the Bible does not make a mistake by saying you are. Amen. When the enemy intended evil for you, God turned it around for your good. There are those things that the enemy has already sent. Just the way God has sent the blessing, the enemy also has sent some things to, towards you that are negative. And he labels them your name. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Today, those labeling will be rubbed off in the name of the Lord. Anything called yours that is negative, we command it from now on that the Lord will deliver you from them all in the name of Jesus. Every sickness that connects to you by your lineage, every sickness that connects to you by your bloodline, we decree and declare healing right now in the name of Jesus. Receive total healing in your body. I speak healing into your body. I speak healing into your blood. I speak healing into your bones. I command right now that sickness to wither in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare the blood of Jesus Christ to wash every evil blood within your life. And I declare right now receive healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. It shall not be your sickness in the name of the Lord. I say it shall not be your sickness in the name of Jesus. There's one scripture I read, I think, in the book of Deuteronomy chapter uh, 14, 7. Somebody can try to find it, whether 14, 7 or 7, 14. We are coming back here. There's one scripture I read, and uh, this was so powerful to my heart. And I know it will bless your, your heart too. Just in case there are sicknesses you are struggling with. What does it say? Um, okay, look at 7, 14. 7, 14. We there? Good. Uh huh. What does it say? You shall bless the Lord. You you shall be blessed above all people. Uh huh. There shall not be a male or female barren among you among your livestock. Read on. And the Lord will do what? Ah, read it louder. And the Lord will do what? From you all what? Let there be healing. Please touch somebody next to you and declare healing upon them in the name of the Lord. We shall not live in sickness in the name of Jesus. The Lord will take away all sicknesses. Oh, the Lord will take away all sicknesses. I said the Lord will take away all sicknesses. By the reason that you are not sick in your body, you may be sick in your finances. You may be sick in your emotions. You may be sick in your family. We declare every sickness shall be taken away in the name of Jesus Christ. And the Bible says the Lord shall take away all your sicknesses. And will afflict. And will afflict you with what? With none. I was wondering, will afflict you with one? I... God. Karibu ni sema hiyo haiko kwa Biblia. Umai ruka scripture. Umai fikia verse ukaruka. Ukaza ah, hapana hii hapana tusome hii next. I almost took you to the next verse. And will afflict you with none. Let me tell you, when we go to our mountain, we will mount this nice projectors. Hii projector ya kukata kata vitu hii tunakata. Inakata huku inakata huku. We will mount screens all over. You will be having a screen next to your chair. Can I hear louder? Amen. It is done in the name of the Lord. And the Lord will take away from you all sicknesses. Kwanza ta sister hili kusoma kama ni meangalia huku. Masai kusoma kama naonea hapa. We correct those errors in the name of the Lord. I say next time, time like now. We will be in our own mountain, in our own facility. In the name of Jesus Christ. Chakwa tunazisomea hapa. Nasoma Biblia munafikia ni meshia kwa kichwa kume ni screen. Hapa. Ingina hapo. Can't wait. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let's go on. Let's go on. 
And the Lord will take away from you all sicknesses and will afflict you with none of the terrible diseases on Egypt which you have known. But what happens? But what happens? <laughs> Look at it, but tell them, hate me at your own risk. <laughs> That's the truth. You hate me at your own? It is not me. Uh -uh, please help me preach to your neighbor. Tell me it's not me. Yeah, it is the scripture. Amen. So when you sit there and you look at me and you are like trying to hate me, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the scripture. Oh my. May God help you not to hate anyone from today in Jesus' name. Imambe ya kuchukua chukua homa za watu mi nakata in Jesus' name. Unachukua tu typhoid huku, unachukua tu homa. Tu COVID tunapita, wewe unachukua nakata in Jesus' name. And any that is in your body, it shall be transferred to your haters in the name of the Lord. You know, that's a scripture that many people don't like saying it. I want to say it one more time because it's the word of God. Every sickness in your body, I command a transfer now. I say, I order heavenly transfer now into the package of your haters in the name of the Lord. Be free from every sickness in the name of Jesus. Mm. I can't be sick. My children cannot be sick. My life cannot be sick. I cannot walk in sickness. Because they, I have haters. Amen. Praise the Lord. Are you sure? Are you sure? Nobody has a kid. Are you sure? Kuna hata watu wanaangalia tu hairstyle yako wanakuchukia. Wanaangalia kiatu umevaa wanakuchukia. Wakiona suti yangu kama hii ya manto, unajua hii ni suti ya manto wanakuchukia. Wanasema huyu naye suti ya mapox pox anavaa ya nini? Wanakuchukia. Why head? I pray in the name of Jesus that your heart will be full of gratitude. I say your heart will be full of gratitude in the name of Jesus Christ. May that laughter that you are laughing right now last forevermore in the name of Jesus. I say may it last and be permanent in the name of the Lord. Mm. So when I read that scripture, it says, I will, take the, I will do a transfer. Are you going to do it by check or wiring direct? He said, that will be wired. Check in as a chelewa. It will be wired. Direct. Glory to God. I say glory to God. I'm almost, I'm almost finishing my preaching this, uh, this afternoon. But I want to say this. Every time you rise up with thanksgiving in your heart, you provoke heaven to do more in your life. Every heart of thanksgiving, it provokes Heaven to give a life of lifting. A grateful heart is a platform to greatness. Hallelujah. If your heart is grateful, then you are a candidate of greatness. And every time we practice this as believers, it goes far beyond doing it as carnal men and as human beings, or as just citizens of the land. Thanksgiving is a motivation that provokes God to do more. And I've already said, thanksgiving is an expression of gratitude. It is when you arise reflecting on the things that the Lord has done in your life. And then these things, when you rise up before the Lord with thanksgiving, God is provoked to do more. In your life. Somebody say amen. amen. And so. As we come towards the end of the year. One of the things. That people do. Is to look at the list that you wrote. In January. Do you remember how you cross over the new year? Ah praise the Lord. Do you remember how you cross over the new year? You know you had that kind of. A. A. A certain, there was a certain spirit in you. And you had a list. And you were like, God, this will happen in February. This will happen in March. And now you have 10 of them probably, two of them have been answered. Two, eight have not been answered. 
Dancin, I don't know whether it's Dancin or somebody sang a song and said, I want to thank you for the nose that you gave me. For the nose that you said, I am grateful. Uh, you didn't understand what I said. He said, I want, Lord, I am grateful for the no, N-O. I am grateful for every no that you gave me, that you said. When I asked you for an aeroplane and you did not give me, I said, thank you, Lord, because you didn't give me. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. He's now in Africa. I thank you, Lord, for the no's that you have given me. I don't know whether that is hitting your mind somehow. For the things that God has not answered, you're still rising before him and saying, Lord, you know what? I am grateful because what you have not given me, I don't have to complain about it. I am grateful. Hallelujah. And that can only come from somebody who makes a reflection of where the Lord has brought them from. Thanksgiving, I already say this, it provokes the mystery of multiplication. Jesus Christ himself gave thanks before he broke bread and before he shared the fish and the bread that was there. The Bible says, as a paraphrase, he gave thanks and there was a multiplication to feed even over 5,000 people. Mm. Gratitude determines your altitude. I already said that. Philippians chapter 4, very quickly. Philippians 4. And from verses 6. Probably if I had time we can read. Uh, yeah, let's read from verse 6. Can we read together? Wait, 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 wait. Are you, are you able to see that? Okay, can we read it louder? Let's go. One, two. Be anxious for nothing. But in everything. By prayer. And supplication with thanksgiving. Do you have message Bible? Can you get message Bible? Okay. Be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication. With what? With thanksgiving. In other words, every need you have, the best envelope you can put in it's a, an envelope named Thanksgiving. If you can put your requests and your needs in what you call Thanksgiving, in a package called Thanksgiving, it shall be well received because Thanksgiving opens the gates. Have you ever heard you would want to pass a message to somebody that you cannot be able to access very easily? But then you package a gift. And you carry the gift and you tell the people at the gate, please, this is a gift to the president. Kindly hand it over to him. And when he receives the gift and he opens his side, you have given the gift, but you have also said, you know what? Even as I give you this gift, I only sold my only cow to buy you this gift. You didn't understand what I said. The only cow I had is what I sold and bought you this gift. So as you look at the gift, please, I have needs. But how you packaged it and presented it before him, nobody will stand and stop it. Write a list and take the list and say, please give this to the president. I have these needs. They will tear it in your, in your presence. What am I saying? Thanksgiving gives you access to the heart of God. So the prayers and the needs that you have, package them inside Thanksgiving. Amen. Package them inside Thanksgiving. And nobody can stand to stop them. That's what the Bible says in the book of Psalms 100. You know what? Enter his gates with what? Thanksgiving. Fika tuwapo kwa get, umevaa Thanksgiving. Ndani yako kuna mashida, kuna challenges, kuna nini, lakini umefika na nini? Thanksgiving. The doors are opened for you. May this be a secret that you will use to change the game in the name of the Lord. I say may this be a secret from now on that you're going to shift your goalposts and begin to give thanks in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This will give you access to the Holy of Holies and you'll be able to present every need and request 
with supplication, with thanksgiving. Let them be known before the Lord. But look at how fast we give our thanks even in our prayers. Praise God. Look, look at the time you take to fast. You fast 21 days, but inside the 21 days, there's no thanksgiving. You fast because of the needs. Praise God. But what if you come to a place where you say, I'm going to fast and pray to give thanks to God. I am, not, I am not going to ask for anything. I have, listen friends, I am preaching what I have practiced. Amen. It's not a story. You take a moment of prayer and fasting and say, God, in this prayer and fasting, there is nothing else other than thank, thanksgiving. And I've already told you, instead of repeating the word, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, Father, thank you, thank you, Utachoka, you get tired. After 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you'll be tired. Amen. Many of you, you get tired when you say, thank you, Lord. Father, I thank you. The, the, thank you, thank you, thank you. You get tired. But listen, let me give you the secret. For you to have non-stop thanksgiving is the book of Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefits. Sit down and make a reflection of where you have come from. Personally, I have already shared my testimony in this place many times. There are things I've not shared. There's more that you need to hear as we go on. But I've come from somewhere. If it were not the Lord, I told you poison was served on my table of celebration. It was served on poison. Did I tell you the story? I did, right? And the Lord just changed it. And those who were with me, they were looking at me, they were wondering what's going on. Listen, when you look back at where God has come from with you, look at how God helped you to escape in that accident. Imagine that flight that you are supposed to board. Is it to board or to board? Don't worry about from where I come from, okay? Look at how you left that flight. And the next minute you heard about the story was that it crashed. The Lord preserved your life. Make a reflection of where you have come from. And you will arise with a heart full of thanksgiving. You can find yourself giving thanks for 21 days. Non-stop every single day is thanksgiving. Father, I just look at my education. When my father died when I was still young, I didn't know I would go to school. But today, I'm a holder of first class honors and all that. But Lord, if it were not you, I give you thanks. Praise God. When the witches of my village said you cannot ever have, have children. And today, I have children that are taller than me. Lord, I give you thanks. Praise God. When they said you can never leave your village, you will die there. And today, yesterday I was on the road and was, was it this or today morning? Yesterday evening. No, today morning. I was driving on the road somewhere from Damascus and I remembered God. Yanu kijana mbukusu kutoka huko nini? Sikaendu pia ako kwa hii barabara. Anaendesha katikati ya watu weupe. Amungu. Ni Tears began to roll in my eyes. I just began to cry. I was I was driving mtu angefikiria labda kuna shida inanisumbua. No. Sababu nilikuwa nimetoka kutengeneza pesa. So haikuwa shida. I was okay. Praise God. But tears were just rolling reflecting that this boy from that village is in America. Na hakuletwa na ndugu yake. He didn't have a connection ya cousin. Praise God. Usiulize kama nilikuja na credit card ama na nini wewe waacha hiyo vitu. Tunaongea kuhusu vile niko hapa. Unajua nyinyi mnapenda kuchunguza, mnataka kuangalia na ulikujaje? Forget about that. I'm here. I'm here. Praise the Lord. Then I said, God, 
I can only afford to give you thanks. I can afford to give you thanks. All our God, I will give you thanks. And I purposed, I said, God, the remaining part of this year, Lord, I will give you thanks. Yes, I will give you thanks. I will reflect on your faithfulness. I will look at the fire you have brought me. I will not look at the things I look forward for them to be done. No, Lord. I will look at where I have come from. The other day, my, one of my brothers, his daughter was joining university. And he didn't have money. So he calls me and says, oh, my brother, please, I want to open a WhatsApp group. So that we can raise. Pesa ya kupeleka mtoto university. The, the daughter was joining Kenyatta University. He says, so I'm opening a WhatsApp. I'm calling you so that I want to add you on the group. I said, listen, did you open the group? He said, I have not opened. He said, I'm not, don't open. Send me the school fees. How much do you need? <laughs> Praise God. How much? He's older than me. He's not younger than me. I'm the last one in our family. Sasa kama yu siyo mungu, atimi naye, atimi naye, atinaeza kulibia mtu skufi, mimi. Nii muna nijua kwe, mimi. It is God. Make a reflection. And my brother was like, what do you mean? I said, yes. I said, listen, give me the school fees. How much do you need, including her shopping and everything? Tell me. He said, he was even tongue-tied. He began to play around with the figures. Unajua mtu akiwa hana pesa naye ana shida zake anataka kuongeza ndani. Nikamwambia wewe ongeza. No problem. We will sort it out. Praise the Lord. I paid that thing like a walkover. The daughter is now in the university. Is free. No deni. Nini. I am saying this to the glory of God. A man who couldn't even afford his own school fees. I used to go to school without shoes. Now can pay somebody else university fee. Not even high school. University. It takes God. May God give you a heart of gratitude. Let that heart that you have be turned around into a heart of gratitude. That as you leave this door, you will walk into gates with thanksgiving. Opening every gate of your business, of your life, of everything with thanksgiving. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me finish because I have to finish. I've already finished the first time. I'm finishing the second time. I'll finish two more and then I finish. Be anxious for nothing. But in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. You need to know that thanksgiving or gratitude, because those are basically both words the same. It is an act expressed originating from the heart. When you come with a sacrifice of thanksgiving, it is first of all a heart of thanksgiving that gives birth to a sacrifice of thanksgiving. And even as a church, I pray that the Lord will help us, Pastor Paul, that even before we end this year, we will come together as a church and give a sacrifice of thanksgiving to God. That even as we look through what the Lord has done as a church, we come with a sacrifice of thanksgiving. We say today is our Thanksgiving Sunday. We just want to give thanks to the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. May the Lord help us from today in the name of Jesus. May the Lord turn around our spirits and our souls and our minds to begin to see the benefits of how far he has come with us. I, 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 some of you own businesses and you didn't even go to school. Let's speak the truth. Okay, what you say, you can tell me what you can say. There are people who are going to say, you can tell me what you can say, you can Ulifikisha tu hapa. Ukwena mbali. Ato wakiuliza yu maneno sijui, madawa sijui ati, ati kwanta pa ina sijui melatoni. Una, vile una pronounce ingi tu? Inatuambia. Hmm. Eh? Ata hile si, CNN, unasemanga CNN. You, 
Hiyo vitu ni ukweli. Lakini angalia zile dollars huko nazo kwa account. Tuse, tu, tuambiane ukweli. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's the truth. That's the, that's the truth. Amen. That's the truth. Hata hivyo unasikubanga watoto wako ati nataka ukue number 1 wewe mwenyewe. Wewe mwenyewe tu tukiangalia. Ni vile siwezi sema wasikie, wanaweza kupeleka mbio. <laughs> wewe mwenyewe ile marks ulipata ya mats. Tuwezi sema mbele ya watu. Kina angalia vile unahesabu dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You have a reason to give God thanks. I pray that your heart will be full of gratitude. I say may your heart be full of gratitude. Even as you rise up on your feet, open up your mouth and just say, Lord, I am grateful. I am grateful. I am grateful, Lord. Open up your mouth and begin to make a reflection of where you have come from. Begin to make a reflection of what the Lord has done in your life. Begin to make a reflection of the performance and the fulfillment of God's word in your life. Oh, somebody open up your mouth and worship him. Open up your mouth and worship him. Open up your mouth and just bless the name of Jesus. Father, we worship you. Father, we honor you. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Somebody give thanks. Somebody give thanks to the Lord. Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks in the name of Jesus. Lord, we give you thanks. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. We you give you thanks in the name of the Lord. Open up your mouth and give him thanks. You exalt you, Lord. You are worthy, God. Thank you for your blessings. Jehovah. I am grateful for the healing. Thank you, Lord. I am grateful, Jehovah, this far I have come. Thank you, Lord, for this. Look at the things, Lord, you have done for us. Grace, we worship you. Look at how you fought for us, oh God. Thank you for. Look at how you have protected us. Thank you for from the foul of the snare, from the snare of the fowler. Thank you for. Look at how, Lord. Thank you for this. Job. Thank you. You have given us victory. Thank you. Open up your mouth and give Him thanks. We give you praise. Somebody give God thanks. Lord, I am grateful, Jehovah. I am grateful. I refuse to look at the things I want you to do. I am grateful for the no's that you say. I am grateful, Lord, for the no that you say. I am grateful for the yes that you granted me. How we bless you. We give you thanks, Lord. Somebody give him thanks. Open up your mouth and give him thanks. He's worthy to be glorified. We worship you, King of Glory. Bless the Lord of my soul. Forget not the benefits. We honor you, God. We exalt you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for your healing, my God. In the name of Jesus. Father, we give you thanks. Lord, you owe us nothing. You owe me nothing, my father. You owe me nothing. Lord, you owe me nothing. Open up your mouth and make it your prayer in the name of Jesus. Lord, you owe me nothing. Even the place you have brought me, the far I have come. You've given me everything, Lord. Lord, you have put everything in my hands. I don't ask you for more. I already said thank you because I know we bless you, you will do more. We give you praise, Lord. Thank you, Jehovah I Father. I have confidence in you, Jesus. I have confidence in you. Any day, any time, I have confidence in you, Jesus. Jesus, I have a come Make a reflection. You. Make a reflection. Jesus, Jesus I have come with in you. Any day, any time, I have come with in you. Jesus, Jesus. Worship you. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you glory. We give you honor and we give you adoration. Yes, yes. Nasema Sante Kwamungu Wangu Nasema Sante Kwawe Mawa Zako, 
Thanksgiving. Heart full of gratitude that the far we have come, you have been Ebenezer. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know whether there's somebody thanking God in your spirit. 